Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyson Brown here and today I want to talk to you about how to get a six pack fast. So last week one of my clients he asked me, he goes, Tyson, um, I've been putting it off. I know you've had the summer six pack series. I know you've had all this stuff, but I've just been lazy. And I know summer's coming up in a month, so how do I get a six pack fast? Now I know some of you are watching from overseas and it's not gonna be summer, but I'm gonna share with you five things you can do to be able to get a six pack fast. Now the reason I'm gonna be talking about this stuff today, it's gonna to be especially based around mostly food. And the reason food is so important is because it can make the biggest detrimental change to how you look, to how you feel, to everything compared to doing your weight training. Because I'm assuming most of you are pretty diligent when it comes to weight training, but nutrition is where it's gonna make the biggest bang for your buck. It's gonna get the biggest results because nutrition plays a much, much bigger role. So, in order for you guys to be able to make these simple nutrition changes, I'm gonna share with you the top five tips. First thing I wanna share with you guys is you need to cut out all the crappy carbs, okay? So when I say crappy carbs, this means breads, this means pasta, this means uh, chips, all those type of things, cut all of that crap out. The reason you wanna cut out carbohydrates, all that type of crap, all the crappy carbs, is because they're just, they're really, really easy for you to retain more water. So you might have a soft outline of a six pack now, but a lot of it could actually be from just having water retention. So if you wanna get a six pack a little bit faster, what I would suggest is cutting out bread first of all, because a lot of people get bloated when they have bread. And the same can go with pasta, the same can go with, you've gotta find out things that are gonna make you bloated, right? Because at the end of the day, everyone has different things, but bread is a similar, like it's a pretty common one for most people. So I always say cut out that stuff and then stick to your whole carbohydrates. So, you know, I like to have rice because rice is like, it doesn't upset my stomach. And I like to have sweet potatoes and a little bit of um, quinoa and that's about it. So you need to find out what works for you to see what stops you from getting bloated, but also cutting out all those extra cra like crappy carbs. The less refined carbs you can have, the better, and the, like, the more whole foods, right? So sweet potatoes instead of anything else, sweet potato would be my go-to. And then it would be rice, because rice, if you get brown rice, you look at how it's processed compared to like things with bread and all those additives, all that stuff can be doing things inside of your stomach, can be making you bloated, can be holding that excess water. So the first one is eliminate crappy carbs. Number two is that you need to stay hydrated. So you still need to be drinking more water during the day. A lot of people don't drink enough water and that's another reason we actually retain more water. When the body gets enough water during the day, it's gonna make you pee more and it's gonna make you hold less water because it goes, oh, there's always water coming in. So if you're constantly keeping yourself hydrated, making sure you're getting enough water in during the day, it's gonna be better, more beneficial for you because you're not gonna hold as much water. Now, how much water do you need? Simple, get your body weight in kilograms and then times it by three. So for me, I'm 70 kilos, and if I times it by three, that's 2.1 liters. It's really, really simple. If you're in um, LBs, you get your body weight and put it in ounces. So if you're 150 um, LBs, you put 150 ounces. That's how much you're gonna need for water every single day. The third thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is avoid carbohydrate-filled drinks. So this is another thing, you know, you've got carbon, carbonated drinks, a lot of you drink, sometimes drink soda, juices, all of those things add up over time. If you can't get rid of that stub stubborn belly fat, it might be because of what you're drinking. Well, probably most likely is if you're drinking other things apart from water. So people, some people can't tolerate dairy. Some people can't tolerate juices. Some people just can't have the um, Cokes and stuff, which I don't recommend. And another thing is when you're having all of those things, or especially Cokes and juices, all you're having, they're just full of sugars and carbohydrates. So like I said, you're holding all that stuff in your body, you're consuming all these excess carbohydrates and that's why you can't get a six pack fast. You need to make sure that you're not getting all that stuff in. You need to make sure you're reducing all those extra crappy carbs like I've talked about. The hidden carbs in sodas, in juices, in all that stuff is just not good. So the first three things are all about nutrition, right? Cut out the crappy carbs, drink a lot of water, and then cut out all the, the beverages too. Now, what you wanna think about is, the next two things are directly for your abs, right? The first thing you wanna do is focus on your full compound lifts. 
you want to make sure you're doing heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, bench press with proper technique, military press, bent over row, all these heavy movements are going to incorporate your compound exercises, they're going to incorporate your muscles, that are going to make sure your abs are working. Because at the end of the day, you can say, yeah, I want to work on my abs, you know, I want to do all this isolation stuff. But if you're not focusing on using heavy compound lifts where you're actually going to be using your body every day, because when are we ever just going to lay down and crunch up and down or side to side? Not really. But if you're going to do a heavy squat, if you're going to do a heavy deadlift, your abs are functioning. And it's not just the front abs, it's the obliques, it's the lats, it's everything you need to get a nice, good looking six pack. So making sure you're doing your full compound exercises. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is add a little bit more weight training, um, add a little bit more of ab weighted weight training, right? So doing things like the pull off press, doing things like Romanian deadlifts, doing things like um, one arm kettlebell carries. All of those things are gonna put a very, very strong pressure on the abdominals. They're gonna help, especially building up your obliques. A lot of us have strong abs, but we need to get our obliques better. So if we get our obliques better, we're gonna have that nice, beneficial overall look and things are gonna start popping. We're gonna use our core as a big developer. So what you wanna make sure is nutrition and your fitness are on point. So I'll go over those tips again really, really quickly for everything. Number one, avoid the crappy carbs, cut out the bread, cut out all that stuff that's gonna make you feel bloated, all right? Number two, so what I want you to do, number two, stay hydrated, get your body weight in kilos, times by three, that's how much you need. Number three, what you wanna focus on is making sure you're doing your, um, cutting out all of your soft drinks, cutting out all of your, sh um, your sugary drinks like fruit juice, and also, if you can't handle dairy, I suggest cutting out dairy too because dairy tends to make me bloated and it actually gets me like a little chogged up. When you're chogged up, you're gonna be more, uh, you're gonna have more protruding stomach. Number four is making sure you do your compound lifts, heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy bench press, heavy military press, and don't use a belt. Make your core stronger. Number five, use weighted core, core strengthening exercises like pull-off press, like one arm kettlebell carries, like heavy Romanian deadlifts, all of those things that are gonna get your abs strong, they're gonna pop out, and that's how you guys can get a six pack fast. Now, if you want more information on this, make sure to click my link below, because I've got a free six pack series that explains all of this in further detail. Put your enter, uh, click on the link below, get all that stuff now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.